Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I've come to the roller coaster capital of Lincolnshire, which is not hard considering this is probably the only place where you can get on a roller coaster in Lincolnshire. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Today I've come to Fantasy Island, which is a very unique amusement park here just outside of Skegness in Ingold Mells. And it's unique because it has the largest outdoor market in Europe running through the amusement park, which is just crazy. So you see market stalls and you see coasters. It's very unique. I'm going to go on a couple of rides. Let's do the tour. So the crazy thing about this park is the fact that it also has a holiday park and these lodges that you can stay in as well. So, I mean, if you're a theme park junkie, this place is absolutely perfect. These lodges look pretty nice. Shame I can't see in one of them, or maybe I can actually, let's have a nose. The only thing you have to put up with is all the screams from the roller coasters. They look pretty nice. Yeah, not bad. Obviously you've got the traditional caravans as well. So there's many different entrances. I'm gonna go through uh, this entrance. Remember this market in here is actually open seven days a week. This is their uh, newest ride. If you like swings, you'll like this. Um, I'm gonna give it a go in a little bit. I know, Gabby would never be going on that. This is also on their new rides as well. This looks brilliant. It's like uh, the pinball machine at Alton Towers. But by far, one of their most uh, extreme rides here at Fantasy Island is the Odyssey. I mean, it says on there, do you dare? I mean, that's pretty extreme. The entrance to the park as well, you can get from the seafront, from Ingold Mells, which is just here. Places to get some uh, some food and drink. I'll just quickly show you the, uh, the main entrance that you might recognise here. <laughs> this coaster is pretty high. This is just crazy. I mean, if you like coasters, you're gonna love this. If you like shopping and coasters, it's definitely the best place to come. See, whilst you're here, you can also pick up some sunglasses as well. There's even a place to get your fishing stuff. I mean, you can see the extremeness of this coaster. Not only does it do a loop the loop, and then there's another one there. Crikey. I mean, it is the most weirdest experience. One minute you hear what feels like a Sunday market, and then the next you can hear roller coasters and see roller coasters. But this little strip down here, it's like I'm in a normal market. Work it. 
So you probably realise there's a lot of music on the park, so I've had to mute certain parts and do a bit of a voiceover, otherwise it might affect the channel. But I had to show you this. I mean, I don't actually remember this in years past when I visited uh, Fantasy Island, but they've got Island Beach, which looks so good on a sunny day. There's bits of sand everywhere. And in fact, what they've done is they've uh, laid all this decking down, put deck chairs, added these little yucca plants and little palm trees and lights and stuff like that. And added a beach right smack bang in the middle of uh, the three coasters. And I think it's absolutely brilliant that they've done this. I mean, most of the time you can't go between the coasters, uh, but they've put a beach right in the middle of it. I think it's fantastic. They've even got deck chairs as well with branding on, um, all in the shadow of uh, seeing these two coasters. And I assume this area here as well is like a, a little splash pad straight water play area, which looks really cool. And you can imagine on a busy day when everything opens up, they've got a bar out here as well. Ah, oh, it's gonna be brilliant fun. And there's even an indoor market as well when the weather's not so great. You can pretty much get everything in here. You can even buy a bed. There's not many places you can buy a bed inside an amusement park or a duvet cover. And it does beg the question, when you come to an amusement park, would you really buy a mattress. Well, I guess if they're cheap enough. 150 quid, is that good for a mattress? Like all these little miniature market stores though, really nice. In fact actually, I know that Gabby would like that bed and this um, lamp actually. How much is it going for? Yikes. So unfortunately due to my back I can't actually ride this roller coaster yeah I know sympathy please and um, so I got Joseph who was very kind to film it for me enjoy So the inside is currently closed because of Covid, but um, here's a very brief snapshot of what it's like. There's actually um, some great indoor attractions in there as well, but um, yeah, I can't show you that today unfortunately. But there's a, like a great little waterfall show and stuff like that. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think of it. So what I'm going to go on next is one of my favourite rides actually, but it kind of scares me because it is so very high, but it's basically like a big swing. But. Um, yeah, let's see what it looks like from the top. So because it's quite a quiet day, I have to go on the one with the flag on it. And I've only ever seen one person on this ride all day. 
So um, yeah, it's almost like VIP treatment. He's in the box, he's doing his thing, ready for lift off, and we're going up. I'm leaving the floor. And we're off. Now I know Gabby's not a big fan of this, but it, I mean, it's a big swing. I just hope, <laughs> it just freaks you out when it is a big swing and it goes up so high and it's starting to go uh, pretty fast. Oh my God. Yeah, it's going pretty fast now. Am I making you dizzy? I'm getting very dizzy at the moment. Oh my God, it's blooming high. If I look down, yeah, that's how high I am right now. We're not even at the top yet. This is very high. In fact, we're right at the top now. And am I nervous? The answer to that question is yes. It's just like a big swing, but extremely high. And it's making me really nervous. I'm trying not to look down. And it's shaking a little bit. I'll tell you what, if Gabby was on here, she wouldn't like this at all. There is nobody else on the ride other than me. I think we're going down now anyway. Get my feet back on the ground quick. Apparently the water in there is to uh, weigh the ride down. I thought it was like um, just to look pretty. So if you can't get enough of the ride action, there's also a fair on the opposite side of the road, which uh, I can't say I've ever seen before, especially at an amusement or a theme park to have the theme park on one side and then a fair on the other. So that was my short trip here to Fantasy Island. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to hit subscribe. And if you'd like to see a full tour of Ingolmels, uh, you can see a link in the description and a tour of Skegness, it's there too. I'll see you next time.